Musham Castle is built on top of the foundation of a Roman fortress. It is the scene of one of the most horrible witch hunts in European history. The so-called Zauberjackal trials that took place between 1675 to 1690, led to the execution of 139 people. But there's more to this castle's haunting history. In the mid-1800s, a bailiff named Anton, ruled Mooseham Castle. He was nicknamed Shorjan Tony and was known for his cruelty. He took pleasure in torturing his prisoners in the most horrible ways and he even mistreated his own parents. One night, when a storm swept over the land, a stranger knocked on the door. Tony opened the door and the stranger said. Good night dear man. I come from hell. My prince ordered me to prepare you for your journey. Tony started to plead. He knew this day was coming eventually, but he wasn't ready to face his fate. But the dark figure was ruthless and dragged Tony along in his carriage and took him down to hell. In 1886, the castle was purchased by the Austrian explorer and patron of the arts Count Wilsek. He restored the castle back into its former glory. A large part of the castle is open to the public. Throughout the years, reports of paranormal incidents have been claimed. People feel as if they are being watched, touched, especially in the torture chamber, or being breathed on. A dark presence is often felt in Tony's room, and doors tend to open and close on their own. The Banger Fort, was built by the ruler of Amber, Raja Singh, for his younger son Madho Singh in 1573 AD. Madho Singh was succeeded by his son, Chatra Singh. The beautiful princess Ratnavati, who was the daughter of Chatra Singh, was the jewel of Rajasthan. Tales of her beauty and delightful temperament spread far and wide the territory, making her an ideal bride. She received many marriage proposals. A tantric priest, who was well versed in black magic, fell in love with her. Knowing he didn't stand a chance with the beautiful princess, he tried to cast a spell on her. Seeing the princess maid, buying perfume for her in the village, he cast a spell on it so that Ratnavati would fall in love with him. When Ratnavati found out about his scheme, she poured the perfume on a huge boulder which started rolling on the ground and crushed the sorcerer. Before he died, he cursed the princess, her family, and the entire village. The next year, a battle was fought between the forces of Bangar and Ajabgar, which led to the death of Ratnavati and most of the army. It is believed that due to this curse, no one in the village or fort could be reborn. It is forever condemned to desolation and is inhabited by ghosts. If any villager tries to build a roof, it apparently mysteriously collapses. In addition, a famine in 1783 forced the remaining villagers to seek new avenues. The castle of Carini was built by Rodolfo Bonello, a warrior following the Count Roger I of Sicily. In 1283, it passed into the hands of the abbots until 1387, when it became the property of Ubertino La Grua. In 1543, a young descendant of the family named Vincenzo, married Laura Lanza, the 14-year-old daughter of Cesare Lanza, Baron of Trebia and Count of Massamoli. Despite the twenty years they spent at the castle, and eight children, their union was not at all happy and this pushed Laura into the arms of a lover, Ludovico Vernagallo. The adulterous relationship between the two, was soon discovered by her father who decided to cleanse the honor of the family, stained by Laura's betrayal. He ordered the killing of the two without hesitation and without remorse. The killing was immediately covered up and this lack of clarity and knowledge, gave life to the legend that tells of the restless ghost of the Baroness, wandering through the wings and rooms of the castle. Legend says that every December 4th, 
on the anniversary of her murder, the bloody handprints of the Baroness appear on the room wall where the murder happened. The Himeji castle dates back to 1333, when Akamatsu Norimura built a fort on top of the Haimyama Hill. It is regarded as one of the greatest remaining examples of Japanese castle architecture. It also has some rather eerie folklore associated with it. The most popular tale, tells the story of the beautiful maid Okiku who worked for the samurai, Tez San Oima. Because Okiku persistently rejected Tessin's romantic gestures, he accused her of breaking one of his ten valuable porcelain plates. Normally, there would have been the death penalty for such an accusation, but Tessan promised to forgive her if she would become his mistress. When Okiku declined, Tessan couldn't control his disappointment and anger. He threw her into a well, where she died. It is said that Okiku returns as a ghost and comes out at night time. She wanders around the alleys by the castle and counts the plates. After she counts to nine she breaks into a horrible howl, starts shrieking and returns to the well. The Leap Castle was built somewhere between the 13th and late 15th century by the Obanan clan. The Obanans were the secondary chieftains of the territory and were subject to the ruling of the Okero clan. Following the death of the head of the clan, Mulroni Okero, in 1532, a fierce rivalry for leadership erupted within the family. The bitter fight for power turned brother against brother. One of the brothers was a priest. While he was holding mass for a group of his family, his rival brother burst into the chapel, plunged his sword into him and fatally wounded him. The butchered priest fell across the altar and died in front of his family. The room is now called the Bloody Chapel, and the priest is said to haunt the church at night. However, the horror doesn't end there. During castle renovations in the early 1900s, workmen found a secret dungeon in the Bloody Chapel with numerous human skeletons. The dungeon was designed so that people would fall through a trap door, have their lungs punctured by wooded spikes on the ground, and die a slow, horrific death. 